Experience it from the beginning. The Move Press store is now open. ShopMovePress.com. Hit me! Generals gathered in their masses. Yeah. He's back. After a long layoff, we've dusted off our tamed bike racer, stuffed him full of carbohydrates, and given him two of the newest, most sought after bikes on the planet. Where was he all this time? Some say he was avoiding a USADA subpoena. Some say he was eating Nutella and drinking Duvel while sleeping in a barn at the base of the Copenberg. All we know is he's called Mr. Hematocrit. We gave him a Pinarello Dogma 65.1 Think 2 and a Cervelo S5 Vroom and White design and dropped him off at the top of Peloton's benchmark descent. Firmly in his sights, the course record setting specialized S-Works Venge, which scorched the descent in 2 minutes, 20.1 seconds. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for a special gift from Mr. H and Peloton Magazine. Here's the current leaderboard with Specialized claiming the top two spots. Can the Cervelo S5 Vroom and White design dislodge the Venge? Widely regarded as the most aero road bike in the Peloton, the VWD designation adds to that aero performance a higher stiffness to weight ratio than the standard S5, and consequently, a much livelier ride. So, without further delay, here's our masked test rider, Mr. H, and the full gas downhill run on the Cervelo S5 Vroom and White design. It is immediately obvious the S5 can carry a lot of speed and remains extremely composed in the corners despite all that speed. But will that speed be enough to surpass the specialized Venge? Mr. H is undoubtedly on the ragged edge with the S5 and hitting the gas out of every corner. Through the last series of sweeping turns, the bike is looking extremely fast, but is it fast enough? Mr. H jumps on the power to cross the line at maximum speed. The Cervelo crosses the line at 2 minutes, 20.3 seconds, slotting in just ahead of the Tarmac SL4 on our leaderboard, but two tenths behind the S-Works Venge, leaving Specialized at the top of the leaderboard. Next up during this test was the Pinarello Dogma 65.1 Think 2. This is the latest from the Italian. Utilizing the same mold as the Dogma 2, the new bike now uses super high modulus 65 ton carbon for lighter weight and more power transfer. That power transfer is immediately put to the test as Mr. H drops the hammer at the top of the climb. He's pedaling into and out of corners very late as he keeps the pressure on, choosing very aggressive lines with the Dogma. Those tight lines are making for a very clean descent, carrying maximum speed through the corners and into the straights. As Mr. H exits the final corner, he's on the throttle immediately to cross the line. And the time for this Italian thoroughbred? 2 minutes, 19.6 seconds. The first bike ever under 220 on our descent and the new leader. Why? According to Mr. H, he was able to brake later, carve a tighter line, and get on the gas sooner with better acceleration. Remember, our descent isn't a coast down test. It puts every aspect of a bike's performance under the microscope. While not an aero category bike, we put Pinarello's result down to the lowest head tube we've tested for a more aero rider and the bike's shorter front center for quick cornering with a longer rear for stability on the gas right out of a corner. The Campagnolo Super Record 11 brake calipers also help with the incredible on the limit performance. Why did the Venge still top the Cervelo? With similar geometries, we'd have to put it down to the centimeter shorter head tube on the Venge. After all, the rider is the biggest part of the aero equation. For a very detailed look at the Pinarello Dogma 65.1 Think 2, Peloton and Mr. H would like to offer you a special gift, issue 15 of Peloton Magazine. Simply log on to pelotonmagazine.com forward slash free issue. With all the racing, tech, personalities, and culture you expect from Peloton, as well as the inside story of the Rev Tour, six women that rode the entire Tour de France one day ahead of the men. We hope you enjoyed Mr. H's latest efforts, and remember, don't try this at home. I'm Ben Edwards. Thanks for watching PelotonMagazine.com.